think that's Jasper. He's having a dream and he is barking his head off. <laughs> okay, so finally got the <laughs> finally got the whopping box cleaned out, wiped up and um, disinfected. I'm gonna see if I if she's gonna let me get any individuals of them. Look, <laughs> Jed is mad because um, Joy is laying on him. He doesn't want to be a pillow. He's probably gonna try to make her a pillow now. Hmm. Maybe just too warm in here. So this is Jojo. She is the first one to open her eyes. I to turn that off. I'm going to turn her around a little bit. Maybe we can see her face if I do that. Oh, oh she got one. She's wondering where she is. So this is Jojo. So here I am. One eye open. And that's fine. I know, I know, I just want to try to get a picture. I can. Okay. So I guess we're doing the girls first. Of course, this is Joy. Somebody's in my room carrying on. I don't know who that is. Um, she's a red with a white blaze and four white feet. Uh, her eyes are not quite open. But I think by tomorrow, maybe, because you can already see the cracks in her eyes. Um, I think she's going to be chocolate pigmented. That's my guess. Her pigment is not all the way in yet. However, her feet pads are, are chocolate, are brown. So I would suppose that they're going to remain that way. Now, last time, last litter, we had one that was chocolate. And honestly, I mean, I don't know how it turned out that she actually had black pigment. Um, that was the first time that happened in 11 years. So, um, But this little girl, I think she's going to be like her dad. Her dad is a red coated chocolate. Um, he's got chocolate pigment. She's got a great face. Say hey everybody. Yeah. So this is Joy. So this is Jedediah. I'm going to call him Jed. He's a hoot. Um, <laughs> he likes to eat and he likes to sleep. He already seems to be a pretty calm pup. Uh, that could change. We like calm. <laughs> but um, he's just really easygoing and we like that. He is a red sable. And um, underneath all this black, we'll see what color he becomes. But um, <laughs> I want to see your face, little dude. He is already actually spoken for. <laughs> Look, he's trying to eat. <laughs> Come here. Um, yeah, I think there's a good picture. I can't get a picture of him now. So I only got one hand. Let me try again. Um, he's already spoken for. Uh, he is the firstborn. That he's the one who sent us to the to the vet. Um, Um, he's a nice sized pup and uh, 
I think he's going to be great where he's going to a family um, that hasn't had a, a dog before. So I think that this is going to be a great match. So this is Jed. Now, you guys, you know, you can name your pups. So once you pick them, if you have a name for them, tell me what it is. And we'll start calling them by their uh, forever name. Um, if you're interested in pet insurance or have any questions moving forward, all of all the pups, they're going to leave here with their first set of shots. But they will still need three or four boosters afterwards. So... Uh, you'll want to make those first appointments with your vet um, before your pup comes home. Just because of COVID, a lot of the vets are backed up, especially for new patients. So once you get your pup, once you make your pick, you may want to call your vet and say, hey, I'm bringing home a new pup on this date. They need their shots by this date. And, um, and I'll give you all of that in an email, but I'm just giving you a warning that I know my vet, um, she'll make, um, you know, she'll, if I have, if I have a need, then she'll squeeze me in, but that's because I have a long-term relationship with her, but for new, new patients, from what I understand, they're a month out, so he's chewing on the, chewing on the, um, blanket. So, yeah, it's like I said in the last video, these... <laughs> These guys are going to, in the next week, they're probably going to be up and walking, and uh, their eyes will be open. They'll be playing with each other and noticing one another. This guy is already starting to chew on his own feet, so he's already starting to notice stuff. <laughs> uh, he's like, leave me alone. Okay, I'm going to get, I have one last pup to show you guys. So this is Jedediah, I mean, I'm sorry, not Jedediah, <laughs> I just had Jedediah over here. This is Jasper, um, he's got a great face, he too is a red sable, um, he's got some tan points on him, and he's got some, um, like his tan eyebrows, and he's got a little bit of black tipping going up his face, but I think that that's probably going to change. Uh, with him, I'm not sure if he's chocolate or black. Um, I want to say he's, he's, I want to say he's chocolate, but he's very similar to the last pup that I said was chocolate and turned out that he was black. Um, I'll know better, I think, when his eyes open. His feet were, his feet pads were looking, oopsie, uh, kind of chocolatey to me. And so the rule is chocolate is chocolate nose, chocolate rim, uh, eye rims, chocolate lips, chocolate pads on their feet. And his lips are still kind of pink, um, but i um, hesitant to say he's chocolate just yet. Um, you know, having these change color, not their pigment, but their coat color, they can change. And uh, these guys have just eaten, and that's why they're sleeping. Um, I just actually, he was sound asleep when I just pulled him out of the whelping box. I don't think he's too happy with me either right now. But um, let me see if you can see his. These two boys. <laughs> see, I mean, if you see his feet, his feet look, the padding looks chocolate to me. Here's one. That looks chocolate and not black. So, um... can't really, I'm not really, um, sure. If I can get a picture of his face, that would be great. Of course, listen, I'm a terrible photographer as it is, and these little guys, when they don't want to hold still, it makes it even worse. And my son, he's a great photographer, and he wouldn't come down here and take pictures. He likes to play with the dogs, but I'm trying to get him to take pictures for me. It's like pulling hair. And he's wanting to eat. <laughs> right. That would be a great picture. Only thing is I can't reach. Sorry guys, hold on. I 
So this is Jasper. Um, I know a lot of you are asking um, when we're picking. We normally pick by three weeks. So um, these guys will be two weeks old on Tuesday and uh, three weeks old by the following Tuesday. And for those of you who live out of state, I know you want to, um, if you're getting a pick, if it turns out that, then you'll need to get in touch with the flight nanny. However, um, just give me, I, I'm going to need a couple more days, and uh, and I will let you know. If you, ha if you don't have the flight nanny's information and you want it, please contact me. I'll be happy to give it to you. I think I sent it in the last email, but a couple of you did not get the last emails. Um, if you're not getting emails, well, then you wouldn't get this either. <laughs> if you have any questions, um, see these guys are almost up, so they're they're still doing their little army crawl. But in the next week, you'll probably see them up, so that their bellies are off the ground. Right now, when their eyes are closed, you know they're unsteady. If they were to stand up. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put him back. He's starting to get a little, um, he's crying a little bit. So, these are the four, um, and I'll send an update with this.